The fourth farm in the video titled Minecraft, Eight Micro Farms You Will Need, created by the ever-powerful Mumba Jumbo, is a simple chicken farm that will produce cooked chicken at a relatively fast pace for its size. However, you may have noticed that the farm doesn't work in bedrock condition, as the chickens spawn inside a half slab that allows them to walk through any adjacent solid blocks, allowing them to escape their inevitable demise. I have created a system that uses the same footprint and similar amount of resources to resolve the issues of this farm. So, let's get started. This here is the list of resources required for the farm. 36 building blocks of any type other than glass. I am using iron only because Mumbo Jumbo did in his video. 3 glass, 2 observers, 5 redstone repeaters, 1 redstone comparator, 5 redstone dust, 2 trap doors of any variant other than iron, 1 daylight sensor, one slab, three hoppers, two dispensers, one chest, and a bunch of eggs. The space needed for this farm is six by three blocks. This can be seen from above, counting six blocks long and three blocks wide. This farm is five blocks tall. So clear out a space for the farm to fit. The farm is the exact same footprint as the original Mumbo Jumbo farm and to start building it place two I or two building blocks and one chest, then place a hopper behind that chest with a slab on top of the hopper. Then place glass in front of that slab and one block up. And glass allows chests to be opened through them, so this is okay. Then you will want to surround this hopper with iron, just like this. I apologize for low frame rates. This is a testing world. There's nothing I can do about it. Next, you will want to place iron blocks in each of these places. You should look similar to this now. And another iron block here behind this slab. Once you have placed these blocks, you will want to place one, one dispenser facing towards the glass and one iron directly behind and below that you can now place a redstone comparator on. Your farm should now look something like this. Now place an iron block directly in front of this comparator, and another here. On top of this iron block, you will want one piece of redstone, and then two building blocks directly to each side. Then place an iron block here and here. Place one redstone repeater here and one redstone dust here. Your farm should now be looking something like this. Continuing. Add another iron block here, and two redstone repeaters leading into another building block here. This system will activate any time an item is placed inside the dispenser and will spit it out, but at all other times it will be inactive and make no noise. Your system should now look something like this. Next, add iron blocks here, 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 and here. This helps enclose the chickens once they 
spawn. Then place three iron or three of your chosen building block across like this. One, two, three, four back. Then one, two, three back, but one on top of this. And here you will want a downward spacing dispenser. While you're at it, make sure this hopper here is facing into this chest. Like this. Now, place one hopper facing into this hopper down here, and then one hopper facing into that. Next, place your final piece of glass onto this hopper. Oop. There. Your farm is nearing completion. Now, you will place your daylight sensor on this block here, and a observer, oop, an observer with this red dot facing towards the front of the farm. Now, place a repeater facing the front of the farm on four ticks, and another observer, oop, that also faces the front of the farm. Now place three redstone, just like this, to complete the farm, add in a trapdoor that hinges like this, and another that hinges like this. Now you will use temporary blocks on all four sides, just like this, get your eggs, and start throwing them, and wait for chickens to spawn in. Once you have a decent amount of chickens, you will want to attempt to reach that trapdoor and close it and break these temporary blocks, leaving this one in place. And as you can see, the chickens will stand on this hopper, and when these chickens lay eggs, their eggs will travel into this dispenser, which will automatically dispense the eggs and have a chance of spawning a chicken. If a chicken does spawn, it will land on this half slab, and randomly throughout the day, lava will get dispersed out of this top dispenser, assuming you have filled it with a lava bucket. Once the chickens grow up, they will be tall enough to be bur burnt by this lava, giving you cooked chicken. Now I have not let this farm run, so it has not produced anything yet. However, my farm over here that I have had for a couple hours has produced plenty of chicken. And this farm will also produce feathers if you hunt with arrows often. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. And if, uh, you know, 
if you really did enjoy the video, it would be helpful if you liked it. I'm not going to force you to do that, obviously I can't. If you could comment if you have any troubles with this farm, please do. I am willing to help at any hour of the day that I am awake. <laughs> anyway, have a great day.